John. Give me second lot, please. With momentum or? Uh, give me one. Let's we'll just. Uh, Force equals the derivative of momentum with respect to time with the uh, factors on the force and momentum. Uh, some of them. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is the one from last year, Sierra? Uh, the net force equals mass and acceleration with uh, factors over force and acceleration. Okay. We have figured out we have a Newton's second law version, a rotational version. Thorstetter, what is that? the rotational analogous item, right? We have rotational mass and rotational acceleration or angular acceleration and net torque, okay? Which means we're missing one. <coughs> the sum of the torques <coughs> equals the derivative of, rather than linear momentum, we have angular momentum. And the symbol for angular momentum is a capital L. So L stands for angular momentum. We have two different equations for angular momentum. The first one we're going to talk about today is for particles. For particles, the angular momentum equals R cross P. So, which is the lever arm multiplied by the momentum, R cross P. Or, if you prefer, it is R cross M times V, because uh, m times v is the momentum. And if you, instead of using unit vectors, you could do r, m, v, sine, theta. So notice again, this L, the angular momentum, takes the same spot as the linear momentum, only in the rotational equations. So that is the equation for particles. 